this building. I built this. I remember now. I bet I can find out what L was hiding from me there. I just need to find a way across. Alright. A billboard advertisement spans the building. Wait. Was this the dead woman at the base of my statue? Was it? I don't know. Can, can we go back and have another look? Is that her? Search her. Hmm. That's Ad... Oh, so that's... That's Alexandra. Was she... Have we been reading her emails? I've lost track slightly. But that could be her. Maybe. I don't know. Over here is... What is that? A large fountain sits before a giant hall. Water pours from the centre. Down there. A large chasm runs through here. You peer over the edge into the depths. Cars and bodies. Like they just drove off the road. What happened to these people? They heard, knew my songs, but the others betrayed them. The gardener and the traitor held them and cast them into the depths. Your songs called them. The signal for you, I called for you. But they came and were delivered instead. The traitor interfered. She failed. The eclipse is here, now. But it must needs protect us, her. Okay. The more abandoned vehicles. Some cars are wrecked, others appear abandoned mid commute. This car's unlocked. Alright, let's have a look. The vehicle's onboard computer is still operational. It's not a war. I don't understand, Pravia. You said we should resist the eclipse any way we can. Yeah, I never said that. There is a line, and you crossed it last night. The second we get violent is the second we get wiped out. Wake up, Pravia. It's already a war. What do you think Campbell's disappearing people just to make them dinner and dessert? It's not war, Co, and we need to keep it that way, or else. So, Co, yeah, he overstepped the bark. Hmm. Was there something else to look at? Second time's a charm. Oliver, where on earth did you get the Azalius on the core? I'm impressed. You might be the worst speed date in the history of time. But you really eclipsed my expectations for a second date. I had a great time. Let's meet again soon. I'd love to see your shop. See what you build. Living toys. That sounds adorable. Alright. So those guys hit it off. What's in the trunk? It's a collectible statue. Okay. So that must be a miniature of the giant statue down the road. Big old building. This is what drew me here. The men of earth came, went to the healer. They asked, what is it that you seek? And the healer said, the telos of humanity. And they asked, what is the end of humanity? And the healer said, think of your greatest fear. What, the healer? Answer, uh, the eclipse was their fear, the eclipse was about the fate of humanity. Does this, is this an important decision? The eclipse was about the fate of humanity, we'll go for that one. Indeed. Have you forgotten? Uh, was I trying to protect the human race? Yeah, true protection from the greatest threat. What was threat? Was it the sickness? They came to the healer and said, You are the only one who can save us. The healer asked, Why is that? The people said, You understand what looms ahead. The healer replied, It is only because I look behind that I can see ahead. I don't know what it's talking about. Alright. Here's some nanite stuff. The bridge leads to an impressive building emblazoned with the eclipse. It appears plant-like in nature. Wow, the bridge is out though. You continue searching and find a small sign. The Life Bridge. The Life Bridge is one of the greatest marvels of the core. Featuring the intersection of science and art, the bridge is an orgosynthetic structure that blends earth-based flora and modern nanite technology. Okay, new areas added to the map. Sweet. Okay, maybe I can find a, w a way to repair the bridge. I should search for the Arboretum. Which is... We are we are here, are we? What's this, this, this little bit here? Oh. The toy shop. Again, that girl. I gave her something from this shop. Oliver's Living Toys. From the makers of Gary the Gorilla. Okay, Nanite 3, Lorenzo the Lion. 
My friend Gary the Gorilla told me how cool it is I was at the core, so I came to visit. So let's play. I'm biocompatible. Alright, so you can get these toys. Living toys. This place must have been a huge hit with the kids. But it had to be expensive. Was everyone here wealthy? I can't help but notice up here there's the adult section. So behind that curtain they must have had... Yeah, we're not going to dwell on that. Robot. Another deactivated robot sits in the corner. These models must have been very popular. But why are they all shut down? Was it the ELM? There's that Gary the Gorilla, is that what he was called? A large electric gorilla toy sits on the floor. Yeah, this, this was a gift. When was that? To who? Did he have a daughter? I think it was. Kids, handprints on the wall. Ah, yeah, that's creepy. It makes sense that this place is popular with children. What's that? The discarded data pad lies on the pile of trash flyers. Let's have a look. Went to the doctor. I went to the doctor today. It's always so surreal to see another physician. It's like they're afraid I'll see through their BS or something. And even worse, they'll get spooked when I show up. My name's common enough, I guess, so they don't know who I am until I walk through the door. Sometimes I wish I could stay anonymous, especially when doing stuff like this. They ran a bunch of tests, told me not to worry. The sickness is rare these days, don't look up the symptoms in your bio, etc. All standard procedure. They'll call me when the results are ready. Dinner tonight. We're still on for seeing Alex, yeah? Alright, so... Was Ellen... were they sick? I don't know. Alright, morons. At Benny, same messages every week. Another deadbeat parent complaining that their kid is emotionally stunted because of that damn gorilla. It says on the instructions not to leave your little run alone with the thing for too long. It's not a replacement for a parental supervision. Some neglected kids get obsessed with it and don't interact with their families. What do parents expect will happen if they're around a gorilla more than with their family? If you get any more of these, just delete them. Not worth the trouble. We should, however, make the warning on the box even larger. Alright, so they must have got the, the toy. <laughs> hey Oliver, I know you don't do lifelikes anymore, but I was hoping you could make an exception. I'll pay extra, a lot extra. I'm thinking something blonde. No lifelikes, no exceptions. Oh wow. Yeah, they wanted some kind of sexoroid or something. Alright, dear Oliver, I'm sorry about the last few weeks. A lot's been weighing on my mind. I've been speaking to Pravia and I think she's right. This place isn't what I thought it would be. I used to be like you. I believed in the cot. I believed in the eclipse. But times has changed my perspective. Pravia opened my eyes to the injustices of the people in the lower world. And even here in the upper world. Campbell's crossed the line and hurt someone dear to her. I know I can't stand back and let her take him on alone. A lot of shit's going to happen soon. Please close up the shop and hide. I can't promise it's going to end well. Love eternally, Alex. Okay, is that a sheep? And the, oh, an electric sheep for the less adventurous. What was it, do robots dream of electric sheep? That's the name, isn't it? Oh, of course, there would be an electric teddy bear toy. Not my first pick, but I bet they sell well enough. There are so many options here. It's Ronald the Rhino. Oliver's living toys are something of a novelty, but for the richest families on the core, they are a necessary status symbol. Only the best for their children, only the cutting edge of the newest technology of play. Gary the Gorilla, Dolly the Electric Sheep, and Ronald the Rhino. All examples of the wondrous technical achievements of Oliver Goldworthy's toys. Enthusiasts are also able to make their own kits after taking special courses with the man himself. Okay, and Dolly's the, the sheep that was cloned, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so that, I think that's this place. But, alright, so we're going to head back. Let's head down the road. Alright, so there's all this weird stuff that's grown over everything. A drop data pad. Let's have a look. An extremely witty email. No, Ellen, don't make me go back there again. I hate that cybernetic shop. The prices drive me crazy. I could build a custom implant with all those features at 25% of the cost. Those assholes would charge an arm and a leg literally for something held together with chewing gum and string. Let's do something else. Alright. Alex is disappearing into the madness. I feel Alex is slipping away from me, slipping into something. She's so angry all the time, she'll lose her composure at the slightest provocation and even yell at me. Then minutes later, she'll be okay again. I'm truly afraid for her and for me. She needs to see a therapist, but I can't persuade her to go. She's upset about the core, about Campbell, but whenever I ask why, 
It seems like she's just repeating conspiracy theories, things about Previa or someone else. I love her so much and I've moved the sun and all the planets for her. I just hope it's enough. Okay, so Alex is not doing well. Operation Log 2. This is Contact. Leslie bought it. He really thinks I'm just here to catch up with him. What a lonely bastard. So far, security is looking pretty dense, but I should be able to plant the extractor close enough to the tower to find out exactly how Leslie and Campbell have been using the investors' funds. With any luck, we can reverse engineer this place on Mars with no temperamental geniuses holding the tech hostage each time. Alright. Car. Body. Body. This person's covered with the same plants as those outside the eatery. They quiver slightly in your glitched vision. The plants? Are they attracted to another biomass? Creepy. Car. An abandoned security vehicle sits in the middle of the street. Its windshield and side windows are smashed. There must have been more fighting in this area. Is it a protest or the soldiers? So look in the cabin. There we go. It's a police report. I found a VR junking attempted to break into a closed body modification shop. He tried to tell me this was his store, but couldn't give me the shop's name when asked. Wow. <laughs> on the way, he kept going on about the eclipse. Don't judge me. What do you, all of you, think the eclipse is? It's just one big VR in the sky, man. Okay, so this eclipse thing, yeah, it's definitely a weird thing. Audio transcript. We got uh, 722 out by installation gamma. Alright, so this is like a police discussion. Ice fishing. Do not copy. Did you say ice fishing? Yeah. Fishing for what? They're on Europa. I'm not sure they know what planet they're on. There's a lot of junkies on this planet. <laughs> Alright. Artesia. Easy money. Hey Helen, sorry it's been so long. I've been having too much fun. But I've got a great thing going here. There's huge demand for some less than legal memories. Black market stuff. I've actually started making a good bit of money selling my memories of the sex scene from that stupid Night of Passion flick. Those morons don't want the sensi, they want the real thing. But hey, that's easy for me, right? Now I can collect an income without any agents or directors leeching off of me. I think I've found my new home. It's not what I expected, but in many ways it's better. The freedom, the easy gig, and being able to escape at the Sensory Palace is perfect. So yeah, if you want to escape, this seems like a good place to go. Just hook up into a, a machine and you're kind of set up for the rest of your days by the sounds of it. What was in the trunk? Nothing. The Eclipse. Your shopping supports the Eclipse. Okay. An advertisement for the eclipse, yeah. Face. Cozy, but without the faces and without the bodies. Oh, there they are. The traitor. The echo sibling child. Tried to ruin us, Jonathan. They tried to ruin you, or they opposed me? The difference is false. Were you and I on the same side? Only for her, for me, for us. If I'm in danger, then you must tell me. Where is this traitor and this echo? Searching true. Results false. I cannot see, sense, or perceive them, but I feel the echo's shadow. They lurk, they plan, and they betray. Was the traitor artificial intelligence? The traitor is, was, knew many forms. Machinist, artist, tinkerer, daughter. What does this person want from me? I can't even remember who I am. I can save you, just as I promised, John. I will lift the shroud of the traitor. The healer came to us and said, she is all I have. The eclipse is for her, none but her. We said, we can help, but time is finite. The healer asked, where is death's sting now? Do you remember or recall the answer? The traitor was poison or time was running out? If the traitor is our daughter, there might be more to it than that, I'm not sure. Time is running out. Were, was, no longer. Time came and went. It's now irrelevant. The eclipse was a success then. The healer asks if he is successful. Behold thy work. Everyone's gone though. Searching. The tree, Elm, went to the healer. They said what you seek is madness. Such power is not for any man to hold. The healer said it is not for a man, but for all of mankind. Sure. There's another body. A core soldier lies against the armoured car. Search him. The vines cover most of the man's torso. Closer inspection reveals that they are merging with the man's flesh. 
Is it the nanites in the system that the plants need? Alright, let's let's go in, let's hack him. Interface fails, alright. And there's another sign. Yeah, get your get your custom implants, sweet. Nice cut, alright. Another sign. I've seen that one. Okay. Let's go in here. 